Hey guys, welcome to God's Random Reviews. In this video, I will demonstrate the tips and tricks I take to disinfect and sanitize electronics utilizing Microben 24 hour sanitizing spray. This is what you need. You need a pair of gloves and then you need two different set of uh, cloth. The gloves are to protect your hands when utilizing the spray and the cloth are to be utilized when wiping and using to use the spray. Why don't you follow me and I will demonstrate the best tips and tricks to clean your electronics using the Microband 24 hour sanitizing spray. Let's go. First, make sure that you put on your gloves. Second, grab yourself one of your clean cloths and then grab your spray. Go ahead and give it a shake and then spray the sanitizing into the cloth. Make sure that it's fully damp so that your sanitizing spray is fully distributed. Now that you're done, go ahead and seal it and walk with me. Go directly to electronics, the cloth that is fully damped. You grab it and you start wiping it. Wiping it until it is a bit wet. You'll let it stand for about 60 seconds and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna wipe it down. Now, obviously we're not spraying the sanitizing directly into the electronics because you don't wanna damage anything inside the device, okay? So, this way, you're still using the formula in the spray, which is allowing us to disinfect Okay. So again, we're going to let it stand there for about 60 seconds. Here's your wet uh, cloth. Wait for 60 seconds, and then we're going to come back and wipe it down. All right, 60 seconds have passed. That is enough time for the formula of the disinfectant to work and kill anything that's just laying and sitting in there. Okay, so now we're going to come back and we're going to wipe it down dry now obviously when you dry this out if there's anything that's left it's okay because you can air dry it and air drying will still work by killing anything that's left over okay and that's pretty much it sanitizing anything that has to do with an electronic now let's go ahead and do the same process with another device all right, here we go. Another place within the house that has an electronics. So same process. You grab your microband 24 hour sanitizing spray. Make sure you shake all the liquids within the can. And then once again, you spray your cloth that's going to contain your sanitizing spray until it's damp. And then you grab it and you start wiping down your electronics. Okay, now once again, you're not grabbing the can and you're spraying it because otherwise that will allow any type of liquid fluid to go within the components of your electronic device, which will either burn out or, or it will uh, stop functioning. So what you want is you just want to spray when you're uh, damp cloth in your cloth and then you just start wiping it down. Okay. And again, you're sanitizing, but just going around. Go ahead and open it and go inside. Okay. Okay, we'll let us in there for another six seconds. Come back and then wipe it down once again. Here we go. 60 seconds have passed. We're going to go around and make sure that we remove anything that we touch when we sanitize. For any other small devices, you will follow the same process. You spray it within your cloth 
you grab your device and you just wipe it down until it becomes you know, covered with the sanitizing spray and you're killing any bacteria. Now again, once again, you're not directly spraying your microband 24 hour spray indirectly into the device. That will not work. You will end up ruining your electronic device. We'll let it stand there for about 60 seconds, come back, and then we'll wipe it down. All right, so you just wanna go ahead and wipe everything down once again. And 60 seconds allows the formula to work and sanitize your device from any potential viruses or bacteria that could be potentially residing within your electronic device. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the rule here is that you don't want to spray directly into the electronic device. You want to make sure that you have gloves to protect your hands. You always want to make sure that you protect your hands regardless of whatever uh, disinfectant that you're using. Now obviously this does not contain any chlorine so you're not going to have peeling or discoloring in your skin. Nevertheless, it's not recommended to use bare hands. Then you use your uh, cloth uh, to uh, spray the disinfectant and then a cloth to clean your device after it has been uh, cleaned with your disinfectant. Then that's pretty much it. You let the spray work. Uh, if you do it right, then obviously you have a 24 hour protection. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.